Whether you've flown in a helicopter or not, these are the type of aircraft that are an enigma to most people. Helicopters are not only reliable, but also very important to hospitals, police, Navy, and of course, the military. Military helicopters are especially interesting because there are so many types and sizes of them, and learning about them is easier than you think. Most military helicopters are used to carry personnel or equipment to and from various locations, which is why they're made so large. They are built sturdy and made to last for a very long time. And you'd likely be surprised by how many of them have been in existence. When you read about a helicopter being large, that could mean several things. Some helicopters are big in size, while others are big in payload capacity. Still others are big when it comes to their function or use. But if you're curious about large size helicopters and those that can carry a lot of different equipment and military personnel, this video's for you. Number 10, Mil My 38. The Mi-38 is a multi-role helicopter, also developed by MIL Moscow Helicopters Plant, which can be used in cargo and passenger transport, search and rescue, offshore missions, and for air ambulance services. Its robust build and flexible configuration enables operations in versatile environments, such as maritime, tropical, and cold. The fuselage of the Mi-38 is built of high-strength composite materials. The cabin is large and unobstructed with an area of 16 square meters. It can accommodate 30 passengers in transport missions and 16 stretchers when used as a hospital. The flight deck can accommodate two pilots. A single pilot can fly the helicopter in cargo configuration. The power plant of the Mi-38 is comprised of two Klimov TV-7-117V engines. Number 9. Aeroceptiale SA-321 Super Freilon. The only French rotor craft on our list, the Aeroceptiale SA-321 Super Freilon, which by the way stands for Hornet in French. This three-engine flying machine, manufactured by Aerospitale of France, powered by three Turbo Mecha Turmo 3C turbo shafts, each outputting 1171 kilowatts, or 1570 horsepower. The SA321 Super Freilon has a maximum takeoff weight of 13,000 kilograms, 28,660 pounds. Other specs include a length of 23.03 meters, which is 75 feet 6 and 5 eighths inches, and a rotor diameter of 18.9 meters, or 62 feet. Number 8. Sikorsky CH-54 Tarhe. Named after a remarkably tall Indian chief who lived between 1742 and 1812, the Sikorsky CH-54 Tarhe had its first flight in 1962 and was intended for the United States Army. As mentioned here, the CH-54 was used in aircraft recovery operations when loads were too heavy for the classic CH-47 Chinook. Apart from the universal pod that could be attached to the fuselage, the CH-54 could also be rigged to drop a large 10,000 pound cratering bomb to create landing zones in dense jungle. The said pod was quite versatile, being able to work as a mobile command post, maintenance and repair shop, or as a mobile army hospital, M-A-S-H, MASH for short. Also available for civil purposes, the Sikorsky CH-54 Tarhe is powered by two Pratt & Whitney T-73 P-700 turboshaft engines, each outputting 4,800 SHP, or 3,580 kilowatts, with a total length of 26.97 meters, or 88 feet 6 inches, and a rotor diameter of 21.95 meters, 72 feet, 
the helicopter had a maximum takeoff weight of 21,000 kilograms, or 47,000 pounds. Number 7. Boeing CH-47D Chinook One of the most popular helicopters in the world, the Chinook is a multi-mission, heavy lift transport unit with the primary mission to move troops, artillery, ammunition, fuel, water, barrier materials, supplies, and equipments onto the battlefield. For purposes including medical evacuation, disaster relief, search and rescue, air recovery, firefighting, parachute drops, heavy construction, and civil development. The first fully equipped U.S. Army Chinook, designated the CH-47A, entered service in August of 1962 with a gross weight of 14,969 kilograms or 33,000 pounds. With a tandem rotor design, the Chinook is touted as the world's most reliable and efficient transport helicopter, having a maximum takeoff weight of 22,680 kilograms or 50,000 pounds. The Chinook has a triple hook system which provides stability to large external loads or the capacity for multiple external loads. Large external loads such as 155 millimeter howitzers can be transported at speeds of up to 260 kilometers per hour or 161 miles per hour. Using the triple hook load configuration, measuring 30.1 meters or 98 feet 10 inches in length, and with a rotor diameter of 18.3 meters, or 60 feet, the CH-47D had an empty weight of 10,185 kilograms, or 23,400 pounds, and a cargo capacity of 12,700 kilograms, or 28,000 pounds, or could carry 33 to 55 troops apart from the pilot, co-pilot, and flight engineer. It is powered by Lycoming T55 GA712 turboshafts, each outputting 3,750 horsepower or 2,796 kilowatts. Number 6. Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey Not a helicopter per se, the Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey takes off and lands like a rotorcraft but travels like an airplane. Its engines oscillate, converting it to a turboprop high-speed, high-altitude aircraft. According to Bell Boeing, the Osprey can carry 24 combat troops or up to 9,072 kilograms, 20,000 pounds, of internal cargo or 6,804 kilograms, 15,000 pounds of external cargo at twice the speed of a helicopter. It features a cross-coupled drive system, so either engine can power the rotors if one engine fails. For shipboard compatibility, the rotors fold and the wings rotate to minimize the aircraft's footprint for storage. The B-22 is the only vertical lift platform capable of rapid self-deployment to any theater of operation worldwide. Powered by two Rolls-Royce Allison T406AE1107C Liberty turboshafts, each with a whopping output of 6150 horsepower or 4590 kilowatts, with a rotor diameter of 11.6 meters, 38 feet, and a total length of 17.5 meters or 57 feet 4 inches. The Boeing B-22 Osprey can lift up to 9,070 kilograms, 20,000 pounds of internal cargo, or up to 6,800 kilograms, 1,500 pounds of external cargo, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 27,400 kilograms, or 60,500 pounds. Number 5. Sikorsky CH-53 Super Stallion Based on the CH-53C Stallion, the Super Stallion is currently the largest and heaviest chopper in the U.S. military inventory. With an internal payload of 13,600 kilograms or 30,000 pounds, 
an external of 14,500 kilograms or 32,000 pounds, the Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stallion is the only helicopter that can lift the 155 millimeter howitzer, complete with crew and ammo. Moreover, it can lift aircraft as heavy as itself. Powered by three General Electric T64 GE 416-416A turbo shafts, each rated at 4,380 horsepower or 3,270 kilowatts, with a length of 30.2 meters or 99 feet and one half inch, and a rotor diameter of 24 meters or 79 feet. The Hurricane Maker, a nickname resulting from the downwash it generates, has a maximum takeoff weight of 33,300 kilograms or 73,500 pounds. It's worth noting that the MH-53E Sea Dragon version, used for long-range minesweeping missions, has a bad reputation when it comes to reliability, being one of the most prone to accident helicopters. Number 4. Mil Mai 6. The chopper that set the trend in the 50s occupies a comfortable fourth place, even after 50 years since its development an impressive performance by the Russians at Mill. With the NATO codename Hook, the Mi-6 is said to have entered production in 1960, some 860 units having been built until 1981. When it first flew, the Mi-6 was the world's biggest operational chopper. It was also the USSR's first turboshop helicopter. Even so, the Mi-6 won the Sikorsky Trophy in 1961 as the first helicopter to exceed 300 kilometers per hour or 186 miles per hour in level flight. Powered by two Soloviev D-25V turbo shafts with a combined output of 11,000 horsepower or 8,200 kilowatts with a staggering rotor diameter of 35 meters or 114 feet 10 inches and a length of 33.18 meters, or 108 feet 10 inches. The Mi-6 had a maximum takeoff weight of 42,500 kilograms, or 93,700 feet, and an internal capacity of 12,000 kilograms, or 26,400 pounds. Of internal cargo, its passenger capacity was 90 passengers, or 70 airborne troops. Number 3. Mil Mai 10. Developed in 1962 and based on the Mai 6, the Mil Mai 10 has a maximum takeoff weight of 43,700 kilograms or 96,340 pounds. Though without a big difference in maximum takeoff weight, the Hark, which is its NATO codename, has a payload on platform of up to 15,000 kilograms. 33,070 pounds, or an 8,000 kilogram, 17,635 max slung payload. As noted here, while the Mi-6 and Mi-10 share the same engines, transmission, hydraulic system, and rotor system, the latter featured a cut-down fuselage designed mostly for passenger accommodation and with neither internal clearance nor large loading doors or heavy cargo. The Mi-10 had large external fuel tanks and wide track four-legged external landing gear to allow the big helicopter to straddle bulky cargoes. Number 2. Mil Mi-26 Though not the biggest helicopter in history, the Mi-26, NATO codename Halo, stands as the largest and most powerful rotocraft to have ever gone into production. Introduced in 1983 and still in production, the Mi-26 is powered by two Lotarev D-136 turboshaft with a combined output of 22,480 horsepower or 16,760 kilowatts and has a maximum takeoff weight of 56,000 kilograms 
123,500 pounds. It can transport payloads of up to 20,000 kilograms, 44,000 pounds, for distances of up to 800 kilometers, or 497 miles. If you fail to assess the Mi-26 humongous capacity, you should know that such a helicopter was used by the Americans to rescue the MH-47E Chinook. The Mi-26 has a standard crew of four, including pilot, co-pilot, navigator, and flight engineer. The cockpit side windows are bulged to improve visibility. Three TV cameras are fitted to allow observation of loads. The cockpit is pressurized, though the cargo bay is not. Number 1. Mil Mai 12. Here we are at the top of the list with the world's largest helicopter. A record held, of course, by the Russians with this unconventional flying contraption. Though the Mai 12 never made it to production, two prototypes were built. The first flight taking place in 1968 and public debut in 1971 at the Paris Air Show. Codenamed Homer, the Mi-12 used a side-by-side -side rotor scheme, each rotor being powered by two Soliev D25VF turboshafts, each outputting 4,125 kilowatts or 5,500 horsepower. With a length of 37 meters, and a rotor diameter of 35 meters, the Mi-12 has a maximum takeoff weight of 105,000 kg and holds the payload record with 44,205 kg. We hope you liked the video and we want to know which was your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the bell down below if you want to make sure you never miss out on important new information like this.